welcome friends to the second series of jquery tutorials tutorial what we are going to learn is we are going to learn jquery selector so first first let's see what is jquery selector selector is uh, to work with an element on the web page first we need to find them naturally because if we will not be able to find the element of html we will not be able to work with them so to find the html element in jquery we use selectors jquery provides many selector out of the box and let us say, uh, see some of the selectors that is very important in how to use the first selector is the all selector <coughs> to select all element of the page we can use all selector for that we need to use a steric mark a steric symbol so let us see this in action let's go to the selectors and open the all selector you can see that in this page I have a couple of uh, elements HTML elements and I'm going to use all selector so here it is written uh, dollar symbol and then under uh, double inverted comma all the static mark and then I'm applying the CSS border 5 pixel dust and green so what it will do is that it will select all the elements of the page let us see this okay and let me go to the all selector page and you will see that all the elements of this page has been applied with the green border dashed style and 5 pixel width that's what I had done here now let us change the green to maybe red and let me refresh this page once again and you will see that the green color will become red and all the elements will be applied with the same style that I have written here so in order to select all the elements of the uh, HTML page we can use all selector and all selector is specified using the asterisk symbol now let's see the other selector the next selector is the class selector to select an element with the specified class class selector can be used and we need to prefix the class name with the dot in the selectors so let us see that uh, class selector here I have couple of HTML element now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to I want to select a element whose class name is specified as class 1 so in the entire page what I have is I have a paragraph whose class name is class 1 and I want to go I want to select this particular paragraph so in that case what I will have to do is, is that I will have to write the class name prefix with a dot in the double inverted comma that will select my element whose class is class 1 and will apply its border 5 pixel dash and green so let us see let's go back and go to the class selector and we will see that this particular car this particular paragraph has been specified with a dashed border green color and 5 pixel so this was the class selector class selector is used to select an element having a particular class in the page and class select in order to use the class selector what we need to do is that we need to write the class name prefixed with the dot symbol the next selector is the element selector now to select all elements of a specific a specific type we can use the element selector and we need to use the HTML tag name as the selector so let us go to the element selector here we have a couple of HTML element and what I want to do is that I want to select all the element of type input so what I will do is that in the selector I will add the tag name so this is the input ta uh, tag name and that will be applied with the border 5 pixel and green let me go back and element selector you will see that I have only one text box and that has been applied with that particular color now what if I want to select all the paragraphs then what I will do is that instead of P input I will write P and let us refresh this page and see all the paragraph of the page has been specified with a green border 5 pixel and solid style so this was my uh, this was the uh, element selector in order to select all element of a specific type of the page we can use element selector 
and we need to specify the HTML element tag name as a selector. The next selector we are going to see is the ID selector. Now how to select an element having a specific ID? To select an element having a specific ID, ID selector can be used and we need to prefix the ID with the hash symbol. So let us go to the ID selector page, ID selector and we can see that, let me go to the uh, source code of my ID selector. Here you will see that I have couple of HTML page and I want to select the element whose ID is txt name, you can see the txt name and that has been prefixed with the hash symbol. So that what is happening is that this particular input text, input uh, sorry text box is being selected and has been specified with the border 5 pixel solid and green. You will see that this text box has been specified. Now what if I want to select the element whose ID is P1. So what I will, I will have to do is that I will have to re uh, replace txt name with p1 and when I will save it what will happen is this particular paragraph element will be selected and applied with this particular CSS style. So let us refresh this page and I will see that the first paragraph has been selected and it has been applied with the CSS style. Okay. So the next selector we are going to see is the multiple selector. How to select multiple elements at a time? Now to select multiple elements having different attributes, multiple selector can be used. We can use mix, we can mix the class selector, element selector, id selector all in this selector separated by comma. So let's see this selector called multiple selector. Now what we are going to do here is you can see that I have couple of HTML element in this space and what I am going to do is that I am going to select two elements here. So my first element is the element whose id is div2, so this is my element and the second element is whose id is p1, so it means that this element and what will happen is both of these elements will be selected and its border will be applied with 5 pixels solid and green. So let's see, let's go back, go to the multiple selector and I will see that my both elements have been selected whose id is p1 and div2 and it has been applied with the border 5 pixel and green. Now let us use one more element here. So I am using the element whose class is class 1. Now what will happen is both of this paragraph first with p1 id and second with class as class 1 will be selected and along with that this div element will also be selected because of this. So all these three elements will be selected. Let us see you will see that even first paragraph, the second paragraph whose class is class 1 and the third div element whose div is div2 is selected and applied with this CSS style. The next selector is attribute selector. This is very interesting. How to select an element based on its attribute? To select an element based on a particular attribute value, attribute selector can be used. For example, if we have multiple text boxes on the page but we want to select only one text box having ID as txt name we can use the attribute selector. So let us see the attribute selector page. Attribute selector. You can see that on this page I have couple of HTML element and in particular I have two text boxes. The first text box ID is txt name and the second text box ID, box ID is txt text one. Now what I want to do is that I want to select the first text box and whose id is txt name. So what I have done is that I have written input. It means that I want to select the input element and I want to filter that input element having id means this id is equal to txt name is equal to txt name and I have a specified list value changed. So let us see it in action. So attribute selector, you can see that the first text, text box value has been specified with the changed. Now let us see one more thing. Now instead of id, what I want to do is that I want to select all the text boxes or all the input element having type as text. 
so here what I will do is the in, instead of ID I will write type that is the attribute and then I want to write the value so that all the input element having type as text will be selected so here I have only two input element having type as text so both will be applied with this uh, value it means that both text box value will have changed now so let us refresh this page and you will see that in the both text box changed has been written so this was the ID selector now let us go back and see the next selector and that selector is the first child selector now to select first child of the parent element first child selector can be used now let us see this uh, with the example and that will be easy for us to understand so this is the first child selector now here what I want to do is that I want to select the first paragraph of this div so here in this case what we have is in this selected code snippet the div is the parent element and three paragraphs are the child of this div parent element so what I want to do is that I want to select the first child okay it means that this one so in this case what I have to do is that I will have to write div here div2 so what it will do is that it will select the parent element whose id is div2 because I have prefixed with the hash symbol and then it will filter all the paragraph using p and this first dash child is the reserved keyword of jquery that will use to select the first element of the parent element in, in this case first paragraph of the div will be selected and it will be changed the background color as red let's just see that first child selector here you can see that first paragraph has been specified with the background color as red so this was the first child selector now let us see the next selector and that is the last child selector to select the last child of the parent element last child selector can be used let us see this in action let us open the last child selector page and what I want to do here is that I want to select the last paragraph of this div so in this case what I will do I will do in the same way div2 prefix with has that will select my parent element this div and then I want to select all the paragraphs all the paragraphs and the last child is the reserved keyword that is used to select the last child of the parent element so this is the last child of the parent element and then its CSS style will change its background color will change to red so let us see the next last child selector you can see that last paragraph has been changed with the background color as red the next selector that we are going to see is the uh, nth child selector to select the specific child of the parent element nth child selector can be used let us see this in action uh, so go to nth child selector page and uh, what we are going to do here is that we are going to select the third paragraph now if I have to select the first paragraph I can use first child selector if I have to use the sec last paragraph I can use the last child selector but what if I want to select the second or third paragraph then we do not have any type of selector here so in that case what we can do is we can use the nth child selector so here let's see how it is working first I have select selected the parent element that is div2 and I have selected all the paragraph with filter of nth child nth child is the reserved keyword I have passed the index of the paragraph so here it is 3 so first second and 3 remember that here the index start with 1 it doesn't start with 0 normally what happens is the array index start with the 0 but in this case the index start with the one element because this is the first element this is the second element and this one is the third element so I have selected the third paragraph of my div2 and change its background color as red so let us see this in action let us go back and click on nth child selector and we will see that third paragraph has been selected and its background color has been changed to red